Dear friend, this is my tutorial 13 in Gaussian. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do natural population analysis. Okay. So this is the model system I'm going to use to teach you the natural population analysis. This is the form of mind. Okay. So now I will show you the input and output files uh, for MVO calculation and also optimization. Okay. So before going to do, you need to optimize your system this is the input file for formamide so i will show you the structure open your gauss view just close it so this is the input file i have created first okay this is the formamide this is nh2 the chuo system okay nh2 chuo is the formamide so this is the optimized uh, yeah, for moment okay nh2 cho so after optimization you save this uh, cartesian coordinate for nbo calculation okay so you can also see your uh, vibrational frequency so this is the vibrational frequency of this system so you can start animation it will do vibration you can also check the any negative frequencies there are not here if there is there is no negative frequency okay that means the system is optimized well okay so that's all then save this cartesian coordinate uh, for uh, nbo calculation this is the input file for nbo calculation so here i mentioned the ch dot uh, percentage chk equal to the name of the system and also mentioned the 6 mw million volts so n4 shared i mentioned if you are using supercomputer you can change according to your computer configuration so it may be change here it's some 20 GB core you may change some 40 20 based on your uh, supercomputer configuration that's all here you can see that uh, theory and also I mentioned here this is a very important POP equal to NBO okay you, you have to mention then only you will get your uh, natural population of our system okay this is the name this is the charge i mean this is the neutral molecule just put zero this is the spin multiplicity so this is the what are the atom present in the system carbon nitrogen oxygen h is present just i mentioned here so just use i use this basis set 631 g star this is end of the basis set okay this is the input file for nbo calculation that means natural population analysis calculations okay that's all so then you can submit this calculation your windows machine or linux machine after completion of your calculation you will get output file so if you are using uh, supercomputer you will get the dot uh, log file i think so if you are using uh, windows version you will get dot out file okay so So this is the output file for your NBO calculation. So here I will show you how to find your population of your molecule, okay, natural population. So just uh, come down. So here you can see here Gaussian NBO version 3.1. So this is the your natural population calculation segment. So here you can see natural atomic orbital and natural bond orbital analysis okay so this is the that place you can uh, come here down so you will find also this natural atomic orbital occupancies then you can come here summary of natural population analysis okay so this is the uh, population of your system so this is actually natural charges okay so i will show you the natural charge okay so here you can see carbon so carbon as the atom number is four okay this is the four atom number this is the charge of the uh, that carbon atom this is the positive charge okay so we are getting positive charge i will tell you why we are getting positive charge so here you can see the core electron this is the core electron that means 1s electron 1s2 electron is there here okay so here the valence electron that means uh, 2s2 2p xy z orbital okay this is the three orbital total electron this is a red berg orbitals this is the total electron so so here you can see how we are getting this 0 0.51 so just uh, we can uh, copy this valence electron 
and go to calculator so then add this with a red berg electron this also just you can add it so you are getting total uh, valence electron is 3.48972 so now we have to uh, subtract with the carbon valence electron carbon valence electron is 4 okay just you can subtract you will get uh, 0.51 so here you can see 0 0.51080 actually so here you see the valence electron is 4 there is the less than the valence electron that means the positive charge in the carbon atoms that means that uh, charge of uh, electron of uh, from this carbon transferred to the oxygen not or uh, okay, nitrogen atom okay so next we will see the nitrogen atom okay so nitrogen you can see negative charge that that means 0 0.86290 okay likewise you can add this is the valence electron under red berg uh, red berg electron so we can add this to so copy plus this red berg electron so we are getting 5.8 86354 total uh, valence electron okay so now we have to subtract with the valence electron of uh, nitrogen so nitrogen valence electron is 5 so just subtract with the 5 you will get 0 0.86354 means if you if you see the valence electron is uh, actually higher than the valence electron that indicate that there is the electron population in the nitrogen atom okay that's why we are getting a uh, negative charge likewise we can also calculate that you can also cross check like this so this is the valence electron so plus this is the red berg electron present in the molecule just you can add this to then you will get 6.60 minus you can add with um, subtract with uh, the valence electron oxygen valence electron is 6 okay just subtract you will get 0 0.60655 this is the total uh, atomic charges on the oxygen atom in that the, the, this is minus so here also you can see the valence electron 6 so work done valence electron that indicate that the, there is the negative charge present in the atom that's why we are getting the uh, negative atomic charge that, that, that means the electron populated in the oxygen atom okay so here you can see the total charge total the charge natural charge is zero because this is the neutral system okay that is the things this is the total electron in the system is 24 that's why we are giving that spin multiplicity is one so likewise you can also do your system and uh, calculate that natural charge of our system okay this is very useful so thank you for watching if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for future update thank you thank you thank you for watching thank you for your time enjoy